Hello and welcome to this edition of Biology Bites. Now today I'm going to be talking about the feeding habits of bass. A lot of this comes from the fact that I went to school for fisheries wildlife and you, you get to study a lot of scientific studies on fish and bass. And there's one study that really interests me at the time. It was a study on bass in a certain lake, I think it was a 10 year study, and every year they would sample two or three hundred bass, uh, pump their stomachs and see what they're feeding on. Well, over that 10 years, sometimes it was, most of them had one specific type of bait in their stomach. Sometimes they had a mix. And you're probably thinking, okay, well, that's probably because whatever the bait was that was there that year, it was the one that had the biggest population. Well, they actually found no correlation to that. And actually, sometimes it was the opposite. There might be a huge shad population, bigger than it had been in you know, the five years since they started to study. Yet they were eating bluegill, or they were eating crawdads. I mean, it's something you just really have to be aware of. So you'll see a lot of fishermen when they go somewhere, and, and they'll see a lot of crawdad in the water, and they're like, oh my god, they got to be gorging on crawdads. And so they fish all kinds of crawdad colors, and fish are where crawdads should be, and don't get much. Or they see a bunch of shad, and, and shad are everywhere, or bluegill are, so they switch to those and they focus on those colors and they just can't seem to find anything. Well, this study proves that it's not just because it's a good population. It might depend on the weed growth at the time, the water level at the time, the, the clarity of the water, the depth of, I mean, there's a lot of other factors that lead to why they might have a certain type of bait in their stomach, even when it's not the most popular or most prolific bait in the lake. So when you go to a new lake, just because you see a lot of a certain bait, don't just assume that's what they're eating. You always gotta experiment and try everything. If you know there's bluegill in there, some other type of bream, or, or maybe there's shad, but there's also some sort of herring or minnow. Anyway, you see one everywhere, try a lot of the other ones. Because that might be the key to finding fish when everybody else is focusing on what you were thinking first and not catching anything. The feeding habits of bass. Sometimes they get specific to a certain bait. It's because they're lazy and they want an easy meal. Not necessarily because it's the most popular, but usually because it's the easiest meal at the time and the situation of that lake. Hope this helps. Until next time.